Hey guys, Matt here from Geekinses. I'm here with special guest Dylan and Ryan. So today we're gonna be talking about CFL team logos. And these aren't ranked in any particular way. We're just gonna look at them, we're gonna give a analysis and tell you if we like them or if we don't like them. And kind of give our opinion on Yeah, give our opinion and like mm -hmm. and the names. Yeah. And, and before like we start this video, I just like to announce that they're Logos are extremely basic. Yeah, they really are, but a lot of these are really old when you look at them. Yeah, like, 1953, uh, 1910, 1907. Uh -huh. So, we're going to get right into it with the BC Lions, British Columbia Lions. Yep. And I don't know if there's any history behind this team, but uh, Dylan, you want to give your take on this logo? So, okay, so first off, I really don't like the colors. I don't like the orange aspect of it on the black. So something I think that they could do to make this logo better is maybe make the... The lions, the um, the color of it more it's like they can make like the nose like the color of the nose, or like they can just change the colors instead of having it one solid color. And I think maybe what they could do to complement that black for the BC better is maybe put a red instead of an orange. Mm -hmm. But I I do like the logo. I just like how like that's just my like what they could do to make it better. Yeah. But I really do like the logo. I like how basic it is because in a sense it's cool how basic it is, but it's mm -hmm. still a very cool logo. So yeah. I like it. I'm a personally a fan of this, big fan of this logo. There's only one thing I would do, and that's redraw it. It kind of looks like I drew it on MS Paint. <laughs> I mean, there's not that much detail, and it's just like they took the shape of a lion's head, and then they added some lines. Yeah, it looks in. more like a puma than it does. Yeah, it really does look more like a. And that's maybe a really good yeah. point. And actually. maybe what they could do is because it's like a female lion. I mean, maybe uh, it could be like a mountain lion. If it does look like a lion, if it, it's supposed to be like a lion, there are like an African lions. lion or like like mm -hmm. a. Instead of having it look like a, like a female line, no, 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 no sexism here, but instead of making it look like that, because you want to be like strong and like, and lions are known for their, are them because the pack, the lion pack, the men lion pack, that's called a pride. So showing pride and everything, they can make it a male line. Uh, I got like it. Main, it's not like a mane to it or something mm -hmm. simple. Uh, I got it. And it, well, more than that, I feel like the male line is more recognizable by people. Like yeah. people, I agree. yeah. And I, I actually am a fan of, uh, Orange and Black is not just because I'm a Flyers fan. I think that it uh, really stands out, and I'm a big fan of the color contrast. I just I would just rather the black. I think it would contrast it more, and I think mm -hmm. it would bring out the BC better. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I still agree with you, though. Yeah. I think there can be... The things that they could do to make this logo a thousand times better are simple things, mm -hmm. but they yeah. really don't have to change it because uh, it's yeah. fine how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to move on? Yep. yep. All right, cool. Well, so, I actually have it. Also, that I'm logo sure. has been there since 2005, so it's kind of old, so. Yeah. Uh, I actually have an opinion on the British Columbia Lions. Uh, I think that the I think that the logo color scheme should actually be uh, red and blue, since that's part of the British Columbia flag. That should be pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Or like a blue and black. Mm -hmm. or, I feel like it'd be a little Or just similar. like a blue and white, since yeah. the British Columbia flag actually has a lot of colors. It's like the Great Britain flag, and then like almost like the um, Finland flag. And mm -hmm. like yeah, there's a lot of different cross. colors, and I think yeah. those colors... I think they have a ton of color combinations that could match that flag, uh, which would complement each other really well for the logo that they have now. But again, they don't really have to change much. They're mm -hmm. minor issues that don't even need to be changed. Yeah. All right, so... Wait, and one more thing. No way. Yeah, I do. What? I actually get why they chose that kind of line. I don't know if you guys heard me say this before, but I actually get it because British Columbia actually has a lot of mountains, and they're probably sense. referencing a mountain line. So, okay. yeah. So they, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I just didn't understand it. All right, so next we have the Calgary Stampeders. And my initial impression is that it looks like a cookie cutter. <laughs> Why is it 3D? I don't understand. I, I feel like, honestly, like I feel like if this was 2D, it would look a lot better. And I do like the color scheme, but the horse looks so bland to me. Like, it just, I don't know. I, I'm not really digging it. I, I would honestly change this. And also, the tail of the horse looks like, like a dog tail. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, it's like a foot from, like, Timmy Turner or something. <laughs> yeah, it does. And, I mean, I like the logo. I think the logo might look good on a helmet. But there's just not enough detail here. Like, a lot of times, I think they really want, like, less is more here, except they did it too much. Like, yeah, they, they did. I like the red and black on it, though. Yeah, I do like that. But, but I just don't like how the main color is But white. what they should have done for the logo is 
they really should have made it Mufasa because of Stan, because of the will of the Stan. Okay, so Mufasa. Yeah. So I'd like to agree to disagree with you guys. I'm actually a fan of this logo. So this logo mm-hmm. has been since 2012. So it's been a logo for six years, and um. Well, the newer version, the, yeah. the original model is actually yeah. a lot older, but yeah. So um, I do like this logo, and I think the reason that they think it's 3D, if Matt shows it, you guys will see what I'm talking about. I think what they did was they outlined it with the black to show the, um, the to, to, to take out, to contrast the horse so that the horse isn't blended in with that red and white. Mm-hmm. And I do like the horse design. I think just something that they can do to simply change this. But I, again, I do like this logo. Yeah. Something simple. One thing that they can do mm-hmm. to change this and make it a thousand times better is just change the color of the horse. Yeah. I, also, I think that the red is not used enough. It's really, the white really overpowers yeah. everything in this, and it kind of leaves me looking like it's not yeah. that much of a it's logo. It's yeah. It's, yeah, I feel like it's like an unfinished logo that they had to put up because it was a league start and they didn't have anything else. And that's why it's white. Like, I'm not saying that's why, but that's yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Uh-huh. But I really do like that logo, and um, I just think that a simple thing they do is change the color of the horse and use more primary slash darker colors. Uh, I agree with you. Mm. Also, what I I have uh, I have one more criticism criticism about that logo, okay. and that is um, as Matt said, it is too cookie cutter for me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, next we have the Edmonton Eskimos, and this has been a pretty traditional team. And when I look at this logo, I like the green. I think of the Packers when I look. At I do it. think of the Packers. I just don't like the design itself of the two E's together. I get it. It's Edmonton Eskimos. It's not really that creative, which I don't like either. And to me, it just kind of... The you e- know what it kind of reminds me of? What? If they put like a line... If they put like lines in certain spots, it would make it a 3 E. Uh, <laughs> to me, I just don't... I know it's supposed to be two E's, but I don't see that when I concentrate on the E's. I yeah. see like this weird like... It's like, like a shape. six and then like... E. Yeah, it looks like a six. Yeah, it does. It looks like a and six. Honestly, to me, it looks like... It looks like no, I can't this that. deformed yeah. helicopter. <laughs> it does. <laughs> there are so many things that can be interpreted as besides an E, even though that's what it's meant to be. If you look at it for long enough, you can find so many different shapes and things. And I get what they're trying to do, and that's make the E go into each lines. other. Yeah, like, a lot of these. I like, like the color use, though. Yeah. I just think it's way too blue. I do like the colors, but I feel like that can be... If that was yellow, that would look beautiful. It looks kind of like a baby barf, kind of like goldish to me. Yeah. And I'm not really a big fan of that, so move on. I, 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 I would like to say my uh, things. I, like, yeah. so, like they were saying, it's kind of like, I don't like the ease. And they used to have a logo where there was a bear holding the ease. I like that uh, logo. I like that. Yeah, I think they should try to bring that back. And... Well, they don't have to, but I think that would be a, a good addition to it because that's a better logo than what they have now. And I think, like Matt was saying, they could use a better color than the color that they're using right now for the gold slash yellow. And it kind of looks more like a brown. But the EE, like, I think that can be definitely changed into, like, maybe, like, they can have an E. They can still have E's, but I think maybe they should add more design to it, kind of like the previous teams have. And that's kind of what I have to say, and that'll bring us right into our next team, the... Hamilton Tiger Cats. And honestly, my first impression, I love this logo. It has everything I want from a logo. First off, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, words on a logo typically, but this is this is put beautifully with the tiger jumping straight into them. It has enough action where it's not basic. I'm not a big fan of the shadowy leg of the tiger. However, everything else is beautifully detailed. And that's not even that bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing too is it kind of reminds me of the Kentucky Wildcats logo. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys know, well, they know I'm a Kentucky Wildcats fan. Yeah. For basketball. Um, so I really like that logo, but I think I and it's a it's a very good logo in my opinion. It's the best one that they have. Mm-hmm. And but something I think that something very simple that I think could change the whole thing is just draw a little like instead of just having the tiger cats in a white circle, I think they can make another circle inside the letters. Or like on un- like under tiger cats mm-hmm. and then on un- above football, I think they could have like a little circle, and I think that would. And if they put a different color besides white or black in that circle, I think that could complement the tiger really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Stampeders logo, the Calgary Stampeders, it but does, except a lot more well designed. Yeah, like the good, like it's like what that logo should have been. It has mm-hmm. the text, which actually looks really good in this, especially the way it's curved and the detail, and also the color. 
They use the right amount of white here. It's not overpowering. Yeah, kind of like the Stampeders. They they overpowered with the white. Yeah, I here it's just the, kind of a background. Color. Yeah, this the white is used in contrast rather than what the primary, primary. color should. Yeah. Mm. And also one more thing that I I have only one criticism criticism of this logo, mm -hmm. and my criticism is I don't like that it says football because I feel like. It's I mean, just a waste it. of space of the logo, and most people that follow the CFL and, like, know what the CFL is is probably going to know what this is. What yeah. It does. Tiger. Yeah. And, and I think like, what sport it is. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like that's just an unnecessary waste of space. Mm -hmm. and I, think, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I, th I do think that's an unnecessary waste of space, but I do think without it, the logo would kind of be distorted. Well, not distorted, but I think it'd be kind of awkward. Yeah, think, right. Like, something that I could do. With that, I feel like they could have put like um, Hamilton under here, though. Or just that like, would have looked yeah, actually. Yeah, like Hamilton, or they could have put like Tiger Hat since whatever year. Just something. Oh, like that, that would have been yeah. Just something simple like that. It doesn't have to. They don't even have to change it. But I feel like without it, it'd be weird. But I think like there's no need for it to be there. I think without it, it would be weird. So I think they should just try to change that. Mm -hmm. That's our one criticism. Otherwise, yeah. it's, like, it's the best logo in my opinion. And have. just before we move yeah, on... Best logo so far. For yeah, me. just before we move on to the, uh, the last... I mean, not the last one, the next one. Uh, two things for me. One, I like how it pays homage to the uh, old um, hockey team, the Hamilton Tigers. Okay. And I, I also like how, although it's repetitious... Tiger Cats, it kind of, like, Tiger sounds basic to me. Tiger Cats, like, really puts, like, a flair on it. Uh, it's kind of like, it's actually kind of like, um, you know, like, the AHL team, the Bridgeport Sound Tigers? Yeah. yeah. It kind of yeah. sounds like that. So now we're going to go to a team from Montreal. Yep. Uh, next team is the Montreal Alouettes. And just in case Alouettes. you have Alouettes. Yeah. Alouettes. Because uh, it's, it's the bird Alouette. Yes. And uh, what do you guys think of this logo? Um, I like it, it's, except what I do not like is I do not like these three lines coming down. <laughs> it looks kind of like he was like swiping paint that logo. Like yeah, you're right. It, I get what they're trying to do, but in this scenario, uh, there's like too much stuff going on. Yeah, and I don't there's like how the A. Yeah, and I there's don't like how the, the owls in the logo. I really yeah. don't like how the owls in the. You logo. mean the owl what? Oh, it's owl what? I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, the outlet. I don't like how it's in the logo. I really think that it should be somewhere else, kind of like Tiger Cats had it or the Stampeders, but I do like the colors of the logo, uh, and I do like the design of the outlet, and I do like the design of the A. I just think that they should take that out, the outlet out of the A, and maybe put it somewhere else and maybe change the font of the A so uh, that it would match. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm not saying copy this, but... If you look at the old Philadelphia Eagles logo, like the one where it's carrying the football by its talons, yeah. I feel like that would work, that kind of like design would work a little better with the Alouettes. Instead of like it coming like through the A with all the stripes and oh, all that. And by the way, I like how it's holding the football, that's something else. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to give three complaints to why I don't like this logo. I like most of the logos in this league except for the ones I've touched upon. Um, I do not like this one for three reasons. One, it looks too much like a college logo to me. It doesn't yeah, scream professional does. at all. Well, college is my favorite, so I don't mind. Mm -hmm, yeah, but to me, it doesn't look very professional. I don't like how it shows the teeth. Yeah. Uh, two... It does make it look fierce, though. Two, although I like the colors, the football throws it all off because it's so contrasting. I, my eyes just go to the football. Maybe they could change the football colors to match that, but I think they should not just blend it in or camouflage it with the logo. Right. Maybe they should put a color that complements the whole logo well, mm. and it complements itself so it doesn't look awkward. Uh, and number three is what I already said. The uh, There's too much stuff going on with the dashing and then, like, the, lines the A. And the, yeah. yeah, coming out of the A, uh, and his teeth, and the football, all that. Yeah, so that's just my basic. So next we're going on Tom. to the Ottawa Red Blacks. And uh, what's your initial opinion on this? I, I really like this logo. I think that the colors complement each other well. And I think the use of the white in the middle complements that R very well. Mm -hmm. And I think it shows the R very well, like I said. And I like how Ottawa, the Red Blacks, like the... Mm. Red example, Blacks. Red yeah, Blacks. oh, shh, I didn't do it. I'm so bad with these names. That's fine. Okay, so the Red Blacks... I don't like, uh, this isn't about, because it's about logos, Yeah. but not the names of the team. You can say the names. But, like, seriously, like, what kind yeah. of, like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, we'll 
let's just announce this right now. The teams, <laughs> for example, the names for these teams are bad. For example, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Like, yeah. what is that? Like, I, I actually like the Blue Bombers. That's one of, my, one of my favorite names. I do not like the Red Blacks because they <laughs> like like. Okay. It's just the colors of their Blue team. Bombers. At least one of the like one of those things is like it's a, like it's a, you know, like, it's a bomber, right? Like maybe it's, something that has to do with like maybe they should change Winnipeg to, to Korea. Yeah. What? Maybe, maybe, okay, but, wait, maybe, maybe what they should do is it's in Ottawa, okay? Ottawa is the capital of Canada. Maybe they should actually do something that represents oh, yeah. Canada, like maple syrup. Ha! <laughs> I mean, no these, these things, so maybe they should do something about the capital, something to do with the capital instead of just having red blacks or whatever. Uh, but I do like their logo. I like how the red and the black, like I was mentioning earlier, for the but maybe like part of yes, yeah, so maybe like part of the government. Yeah. Like, like a government. Like a government kind of like logo or something. Uh, yeah. Kind of like how they have the senators. Alright, back on check. Let's get to the logo then. So, but like I was saying earlier, for some other teams, I, I think that instead of having white in some places, they should have red or black. But I really like how they have a combination of all three of those colors. And I like how there's not too much going on here. I like the little razors. Yeah, I do too. And I like how the R kind of stands out overall. And there's just that kind of red little line going through to kind of make it even look less bland. Because I think without mm. that line or that circle, it would be very bland, um, but I really like that addition, and I think the logo is very good. I'm glad they didn't just take their helmet and slap it on a piece of paper like the Browns. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Browns. But uh, my opinion on this, I like it a lot. The jagged design of the red blocks looks really cool, even if red red black isn't a thing. I keep I keep just what is a red anytime black? I see it's this. Not I a think, thing. Anytime I see this, I think of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Yeah, and I also really like the R because they kept consistent. And what they wanted to go for is a jagged kind of edge look. Right? And I do like that because it's edgy. I feel yeah, like if they yeah. just had it with the circle, it would be kind of bland. And it's, like, imagine if you took out the red circle and the jagged edges. I feel like it'd be very bland as a logo. But I like how each thing complements each other and contrasts well. Uh, I'm but, also glad it's not just an R. Yeah, the font of the R is really good and how the black kind of cuts in. Yeah, like the black cutting in complements this. Like, and how it still, even though the black cuts in at certain spots, it still has a outline slash like a bold right. black around it. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Next logo is the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. What do you guys think? I okay, so this is one of the most popular teams, and I like because Rough Riders. So I like how it has like little designs on the edges, the little white designs on the edges. Mm, so I believe those are supposed to be uh, two stalks of wheat. Yeah. Because um, Rough Riders, yeah. In Saskatchewan has I a lot of uh, wheat culture. Yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but I do not know what a Rough Rider is. A Rough Rider isn't really something. It's more of a just, person. it's just more of a kind of like, you know, like a grimy kind of name of like an army person. Oh, like or a something. Tough. Something yeah. tough, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I like the wheat that it has, and I like how that kind of fits with the place that it is. And I also like how they have different use of colors. So they have the black, they have the white, they have the green. I really like that. Yeah. And I also like how the S stands out above all, even though they have, like, the little designs in the back. kind. But, like, like for the outlets, you remember they when they had the little designs, those kind of stout more than the mm -hmm. outlet did or the A did. These are really so, just kind of subtle, yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. and I, I like, like that. I like how it's just oh. subtle, and there's not much to it. But if you look at the little designs, that makes that makes it the much more better. Because even with the the red blacks teams like that, they use little things instead of overdoing it or underdoing it. So some teams are too subtle, and then for example, like the outlets, way too much. Mm -hmm. But I like how this is. Each thing definitely complements each other, and I like how they don't have the same design. So they have, and it's, it's on, um, what's the word? They're like... The wheat? Stocks of wheat? No, they're congruent to each other. Like, oh, congru sorry, I thought you were talking about the design. So, yeah. So, Ryan, what do you think of this? Uh, I think it is a good logo. I like it, but what I do not like about all CFL teams, I know I have not gone through all of them yet, but I have actually seen most of them. But one thing that I do not like about it... Most CFL teams are just letters. It makes me think of baseball. <laughs> You're right, and I feel like that doesn't have too much of a place in football. However, yeah. I I like the S here because it stands out. And, and I think it's, it's like, kind of different from. I I like the S there, mm -hmm. just like I like the um. And keep in mind, like the red logo ones, because like, both of them stand out. This, if you keep in mind, this logo was not even made a year ago. Yeah, or it, was, it wasn't even made two years ago. It was made yeah. like a year and a couple. But months. with the Winnipeg one. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Uh, but my opinion on this logo, 
I like the S. It stands out. I like the green a lot. The green really yeah, kind of it, like it complements the S. Complements the white also. It's really one of those like textbook old logos that like it's pretty hard to not like. The little detail, the wheat looks good. And can I, I mean, also add something? Yeah, sure. So with the red blacks, I like that logo, but I think it was like dark and kind of like you know what I'm saying. Like this is more upbeat. You're yeah, saying? This, yeah, yeah, it's more upbeat. It's not as dull like dull color use. It's brighter colors and it's like you're saying more upbeat. So I really like that logo, and that's why. And I think you guys are ready to move on to the next team. So next we have the Toronto Argonauts, and so what do you guys think of this logo? That kind of it kind of reminds me of the Colts logo mm-hmm. with the dots, but um, I I like this logo. I like the letter. So it reminds me of a college logo. I like the blues that it uses, mm-hmm. and I think that using the different shades complements it very well. So I like this logo, and those are the reasons why. And maybe just my one criticism is that they can maybe just add something more to it based off of what they are. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. Uh-huh. I do agree with uh, Dylan, all with like the how the shades complement everything and all that. Um, I do like how the logo looks kind of like, um, the old hockey team, the Toronto Arenas. I do kind of like that. I do. Yeah, I, 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 like I, I do that. too. I like how it's in the circle, and I feel that, um, they didn't use the white too much as... Mm-hmm. Oh, Stampeders! <laughs> yeah, Stampeders, yeah. So, um, my I'm take... A fan. Yeah. My fan, I mean, my take on this logo is that, quite frankly, I'm not a fan. I used to like this logo, but now looking at it again, I'm not the biggest fan. There's not, I would want more white used. I don't really like that kind of shade of blue. I don't really like that kind of Titans oh, kind of shade like of. Blue. And where's the art? Like, no, like the, um, yeah. Like, what's representing that? The Argonauts. It's just an A and then yeah, it has a the A is represent- there's, representing. There's that. nothing like, there's no like boats or anything. There's nothing that's to true. do with what they actually are. Yeah, own. that's my other complaint. Although the other logos were letters, they had something that related to what they are in them. You know, you know what I think would be kind of cool? What? Because they're Argonauts, right? It's kind of bland. Just, yeah. yeah you, you know, you know how like like they kind of has to do like boats and stuff. Yeah. It kind of looks like the side of like you know like kind of like the side and bottom of the ship where yeah. like, all those like kind of like dots like that. Yeah. But I think what they could do is they could have, like this is this I think this would just be a cool idea. They can make their logo instead of it being a circle. Like it could be the same thing, but it could just be inside of like a sail or something. That could be cool, or it could be um, maybe kind of like the Buccaneers logo. Yeah, maybe yeah. like the the ship form. Maybe yeah, that that'd be really cool. Uh, I think that they should definitely get something something more creative for this team, especially coming from Toronto. But that's yeah. just my take. Yeah. So I'm not necessarily the biggest fan. And lastly, we have arguably the most basic logo of them all. I okay. so, the so, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Uh, okay. Before you guys start attacking it, <laughs> dude, I want to reverse that. Let's, let's Wait, just go okay. in. Okay, fine. So, so, so can I say what yeah, I was sure, actually sure, about sure, to say? Sure. So, like I was saying, most of these teams. Logos are letters, like the Blue Bombers. It's, a blue. it's nothing. It's a W. It's just a W with a blue outline, and I personally think that it just kind of looks like a ripoff of the West Virginia logo, just yeah. without less color on something. Like if you show the older logos, like one they had was um, W with like a lightning bolt with a football. Mm-hmm. They've gotten progressively more and more and more bland. So they've had like uh-huh. five different logos, and they each got more bland, and they've just ended up with this. And something that I think the CFL does a lot is they just take their logos and they only make them if they would look good on helmets and that's what i kind of realized because if the colors if you had a helmet that color and you had that on i think it's just there to go on the helmet i really don't think Mm -hmm. that these are logos for teams and they don't represent the team and they don't Mm -hmm. do that and with the blue bombers Mm -hmm. it doesn't show anything to do with um doesn't have anything to do with their name besides winnipeg and that's Mm -hmm. the w so, I have two I'm things. Not saying. Uh, I have two things to say. So I kind of agree with Dylan. Like they're kind of just like helmet logos. I think they should do it kind of like the NLB, how they have a helmet logo, which usually or a hat logo, which usually is just the first letter of or the two letters. Oh, like, like for the year, it's just like the symbol. Or, yeah, like the NY or the Phillies, the P. Or, just the simple logo or the one or two yeah. letters that are but, in the logo. Uh, MLB teams also have real, like, actual True, logos. Kind of like the Phillies have the Liberty Bell on theirs. The Mets have the Queen Skyline. The Yankees have the baseball bat with the hat on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, 
Toronto and the Toronto has the Blue Jay. The Blue Jay with like, and what the, the six, Brewers. Aaron. But you got you guys get the point. Yeah, so. there's not much to say also, about this logo for me. There's literally it's, nothing to say about it besides that it's terrible <laughs> and that it looks like. Also, I have one more thing to say. So also, it kind of looks like someone said said to like a fifth grader, "Hey, can you draw a W for me?" And, and block like, letters, guys. I'm a like, master. And then in like. <laughs> and like and like block letters and then they're like okay sure and then they're like okay guys we have a professional sports logo they're like yeah. like I'm a graffiti master you want to see that's well, just you <laughs> no no I'm just making a joke they're like I mean, I'm a master at bubble letters at least <laughs> <laughs> at least we have uh, at least it's it looks like it's professionally made at least and I think that's because of the print. Yeah, it's, just, it's not creative. It's just a trademarked logo, so it has to have good branding slash. Yeah, I just I have nothing to logo. say. It's just it's like, bad. Wait, wait, can you wait, go back look at the, look at the old logos as well. True. Look at see, these old logos. You see, two thousand five through two thousand eleven, that logo. It's a W with the lightning bolt. And even then, it's not that good. It's just and, well, and it's not. It's not. But there's but so much more that they could have. And done. in nineteen thirty six, they had a lot, and that logo was. Good, it's just needs more colors. Yeah, and also it's just yeah. it's just basically a blue outline. There's nothing more to it. Yeah, there's so much more that they could have done with just a W. Alright, so. so you guys want to move on to your favorite logo of the CFL yeah, and your so least favorite logo. logo. Okay. Uh, Dylan? So I think we established this earlier. My favorite logo is gonna be the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And I think I I think I have two that are tied for first, and that'd also be Scat Scat that nah, Saskatchewan and Hamilton. But those are my two favorites. And I think the worst logo, I think we all know what I think, and I think we all have the same worst logo. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with the Winnie Plague Blue Bombers. Uh, my favorite logo is pretty much the same thing as Dylan. BC Lions for me come in really close just because it looks really wow. cool. And I, uh, yeah, I do like that logo. Uh, too. But it's a close I, second. I'm gonna have to go Hamilton Tiger Cats. Honestly, I'd wear a shirt with the Hamilton Tiger yeah. Cats, Manziel on the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> My least favorite is Winnipeg Blue Bombers. It just cause too not it's too simple. All right, what's yours? Same as Matt and everyone right. else. <laughs> and another thing that I like to add about the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, there's nothing around it, and I think that's something that makes it blend. It's just the blue around the W, and I really think that they could if they just added something around that W. It could be a lot better. All right, so that was our review on the CFL Canadian Football League logos. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment also, you could subscribe. And in that comment, I want you to put your rankings of the CFL logos, a suggestion for another video, and well, I've been your host, Matt, signing off. See you guys.